friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new and not subscribed, I'm Kayla Bame, and you should really think about subscribing to my channel because the bestest, most greatest things in the world happen when you do that. So, subscribe. For today's video, I have a confession. I am kind of obsessed with paint pouring now. I don't know how this happened, I kind of hated it at first because it was super messy, but I'm obsessed with paint pouring now. I think this is like my fourth paint pouring video. I did the original paint pouring video, I did the little shadow box uh, zodiac paint pouring thing, I did the paint pouring techniques thing, and here I am again doing more paint pouring because it's actually really fun. Except this time, I was like, oh, if I could paint pour on a shadow box, if I can paint pour on glass, if I can paint pour- oh, this is actually my fifth one. Oops. I was like, what else can I paint pour on? And I was like, maybe I could try paint pouring on different types of glasses? Like, cups? So, for today's video, I am going to be trying to paint pour on a mason jar glass, a wine glass, and then like a regular kind of cup mug glass. I thought that would be fun. So, let's do it. Okay party people, to start off we're gonna be using this basic mug, okay? I don't know what kind of glass it is, so we're just gonna call it a mug. And so I don't make a mess, I got this shoe box. I'm gonna put the cup inside the shoe box and pour the paint in the shoe box. The first colors I'm starting off with are tropical blue, beige, white, and bright violet. So after my first paint pouring video, people gave me a lot of tips about how I could improve my paint pouring, I guess. And one of the tips that I got was to put multiple layers, not just one layer of the paint, just to kind of mix it a little bit so it's not so... Because usually if you're going to pour the paint, the top colors are the ones that are going to show through. So if you put multiple layers, you're more likely to get all the colors showing through, I guess? So here are all my pretty colors that I poured in, and I'm just gonna pour it on top of the glass. I don't know why I thought about doing this, I just thought it would be a cool idea, and it did look pretty cool, okay? If I do say so myself. Like, this didn't require me to physically move the cup, because I guess gravity was kind of doing that already. But then I ran into an issue that I did not even think about. So I wanted to reuse the shoebox for my other cups. And as you can see, I had no idea how to get this cup out of the shoebox without touching it, which would ruin it. And I don't know why this wasn't something that I thought of. I just didn't think that this would be an issue. Obviously it's an issue. I didn't want to wait for it to dry because this stuff takes forever to dry. So I was having a real difficult time trying to get this cup out of the shoe box without ruining my little masterpiece. Anyway, moving on to the next glass. This is in fact a wine glass, people. Relax. I'm 21, okay? For this one, I'm going to be using this new set that I found. It comes with pink, magenta, coral, and lemon. And I know what you're thinking. Kayla, don't you already have enough paint? No, of course I don't. Every single time I walk into Michael's, they have some kind of new paint set, some new paint, different colored paints, and I saw this set and I just couldn't resist, okay? These colors are so pretty. I don't know if you guys know this, but my favorite color is actually orange. I know, it's weird, don't judge me. But I saw the orange and the pink and the red and the yellow, and I just couldn't resist, okay? Don't judge me. So for the wine glass, I tried to be a bit smarter so I didn't run into the issue of struggling to get it out of the shoebox again. 
And I just put it face down like that. I mean, I guess this worked. I could definitely pick it up easier and move it out of the shoebox easier. But I kind of wish I got the whole wine glass, including, like, the neck of the wine glass, I guess you can call it. I don't know. It was fine. Just, it's that, like, those little details that I wish were better. I mean, the colors were nice, though. Don't you think the colors were super cool? No? Just me? Okay. And just for the heck of it, I'm doing a mason jar for my last glass. And I'm using navy, fuchsia, mint green, and sky blue. Yes, I know, my paint bottles were dirty and covered with paint. If you can paint pour and not make a mess, you're lying. There is no way. Paint pouring is so messy it makes me upset and it makes me not want to paint pour because it's such a mess that I have to clean up. But the art is so cool. Like I am so obsessed with paint pouring because it comes out so cool looking. The biggest issue I have with it is the mess that it makes. The shoe box kind of took that mess away, which is why I didn't really mind doing this video so much, but... I just wish there was a cleaner way to paint pour because it's so cool. And for the mason jar, I decided not to flip it upside down because, again, I just didn't want to run into the issue that I had with the very first glass of not being able to get it out of the shoe box. So the, the top of the mason jar wasn't covered. Again, this bothered me, but it's okay, I guess. It still turned out pretty cool. I also have no idea why I decided to do this video. I was just, my mom has this huge stash of glass in the garage for some reason. I don't know. It's just stuff that she's accumulated over time for her crafting on a budget. And I was looking at these glasses and I was like, that would kind of be fun to paint pour on, right? Because paint pouring's so much fun. You guys should tell me down in the comments below other stuff that I should paint pour. So like I did a wine glass and a mug and stuff. Give me other things that I can take and paint pour on. Because I am obsessed with paint pouring right now. So give me some suggestions that I can do and try for other videos. More paint pouring videos. This is so much fun. Please give me more suggestions. I need more stuff to paint pour. All right. This is the finished product for the first mug. It looks a little messy because I couldn't really get it out of the shoe box, but I think the colors look pretty cool, and despite the slight smudges, I think it came out nice. Here is the wine glass that I paint poured on. I really love these colors so much. This is probably my favorite pack ever that I've ever bought. Um, as you can see, I didn't do the whole thing, so it looks a little messier, but that's okay. This is the mason jar. These colors came out super cool too. I think I like the mason jar maybe the best besides the like top part where the lid screws on. That's a little messy. But I think the mason jar is probably my favorite one just because of the way the paint poured onto it. I wish the lid didn't look like that though. Overall, I think these were some pretty cool paint pouring projects. There were a couple of details and like minor issues that I wish I could fix. So maybe I'll try again with different cups, who knows. But this was super fun, you know what I'm saying? Alright, that is it for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And leave in the comments down below if you want to see me paint pour on more stuff. I'm sure there's more stuff I can paint pour on because this was actually super fun. 
even though I kind of messed up because I wasn't sure how to get the mug out after I paint poured on it. That was my fault. But I thought it was a really cool idea and I actually think they came out pretty cool looking. But let me know what you thought and let me know if you want to see me paint pour on more stuff because I am so obsessed with paint pouring now I will do paint pouring videos all week long if you wanted me to. But I'll see you guys back here next time. Peace.